Hi, I've got this story to read for you today. It's called Pippa. Can you see there's the title, Pippa? And it's written by Mick Inkpen. I'm going to read you the blurb on the back. It says, Kipper's basket is old and worn. His blanket is smelly and disgusting. But can Kipper find a better place to sleep? Do you think this might be Kipper? Should we find out? I hope you're sitting comfortably ready for this story. Kipper was in the mood for tidying his basket. You are falling apart, he said to Rabbit. Oh. You are chewed and you are soggy, he said to his ball and his bone. And you are disgusting, he said to his smelly old blanket. And he threw them all out. <sighs> but it was not better. Now his basket was uncomfortable. He twisted and he turned. He wiggled and he wriggled. But it was no good. He could not get comfortable. Silly basket, said Kipper, and went outside. Outside there were two ducks. They looked very comfortable standing on one leg. Oh, that's what I should do, said Kipper. But he wasn't very good at it. He could only wobble. Some wrens, which are a type of bird, some wrens had made a nest inside a flower pot. It looked very cosy. I should sleep in one of those, said Kipper. But Kipper could not, would not fit inside a flower pot. He was much too big. The squirrels had made their nest out of sticks. I will build myself a nest. Out of sticks, said Kipper. But Kipper's nest was not very good. He could only find three sticks. The sheep looked very happy just sitting in the grass. But no, that was no good either because the grass was much too tickly. Ah! The frog had found a sunny place sitting on a lily pad on the pond. If I could do that, said Kipper. But guess what? He couldn't. He's ended up with a lily pad on his head, sitting in the pond, feeling rather wet and rather silly. Perhaps a nice dark hole would be good, thought Kipper. The rabbits seem to like them. Mm. Oh! But it wasn't a rabbit hole, it was a badger's hole. As you can see, Pippa got quite a fright. <sighs> Kippa rushed indoors and hid underneath his blanket, his lovely, smelly old blanket. You know, that one he thought he didn't want anymore, that he threw out of his basket. Kippa put the blanket back in his basket. He found his rabbit. Sorry, rabbit, he said. He found his bone and his ball. I like my basket the way it is, yawned Kipper. Oh. He climbed in and pulled the blanket over his head. It's the best basket in the whole wide. And that is the end of the story about Kipper. There are lots of other Kipper stories. We might find one over the next week or so. But that is the story of Kipper and his old basket. So I hope you enjoyed listening and I hope you will have a nice weekend and I will see you again next week. So goodbye for now. <laughs>